it's time to analyze the rate constant term in our selectivity concept. So remember, we got previously the desire and the concentration alpha 1 versus K U C A alpha 2. So we have, uh, we have already analyzed this. Forget about this. Let's center our attention on this. Now you know this by definition, or the erroneous definition is essentially the frequent factor times exponential of the negative of the activation energy divided by the gas constant times temperature. So let's do it for the desired one, which is here, and the undesired one, which are here. Let's separate this concept here, and if you know a little bit of exponents, we can get this high and add them up. So, but sorry again, we're going to center our analysis once again, forget this because we cannot change that, and R will get away. We can either this uh, difference and this uh, temperature. So we're going to check that. Now what happens when the activation energy of the desired product is higher than that of the uh, activation energy of the undesired one? That means we need more energy to carry on this equation than this one. So, once again we set this as a difference, and this is, must be greater than zero, and that, let's call this C. Now once again, selectivity, exponential, let's call this C. And let me set it, set up this. Uh, since it's negative, I can send it down. So A divided by exponential of CRT. Now we want to increase the this number. How can we do it? Well, of course we can increase A, which we are not going to do. That's not normally done. But we can actually, well, we cannot change R neither. But we can change temperature and C. Actually, if we increase temperature, we will decrease this factor here inside, because if you increase a, di a division, you decrease the whole concept. And this will, at the same time, if you decrease here, the exponential also decreases. And as I told you once again, if you have a, a number that is very small here, the general number will increase. So that's very good. If you have this case, please increase temperature. Now, guys, be sure or not always think on that. What will happen if we have this? Make the difference, this, let's call it D, and we set D here, of course negative, so you will have a positive number here. And once again, we need to do our analysis. We cannot change A, no R, so we can only change D and T. D can be changed with catalyst, but we are going to focus on the temperature. So if we decrease temperature, we're going to increase this number okay if we decrease this number we are going to in no if we increase this number we are going to increase the exponential or this number here and if we do that we are going to end up with an increase in selectivity now one thing guys you probably telling me that if temperature must be decreased let's decrease it a lot and there's one problem, because if we decrease it a lot, we're going to have a very slow reaction, or actually no reaction at all. And we don't want that. We want it to be fast, because of course you don't want to have a reaction that takes out uh, 2 years, 10 years. You want something fast. So you need to intermediate between a low temperature and a fast temperature. Low temperature, so you have a good selectivity. And high temperature, so you have a fast reaction. So previously it was no problem because high temperatures means high selectivity and fast reactions. But here guys, you need to intermediate. You need to check out what's more convenient to have a very low selectivity or to take a long of time, a lot of time. That's up to you. That's typical engineering questions. That's those are the dilemmas on engineering. And yeah, let's check out these example it's about maximizing the selectivity we're not going to include it but you've seen so far enough information to solve it by your own uh, just read it you will have this here and this here and this one here you want to check it out go to my web page and go to this site click it then go to courses 
go to reactor engineering, check the solve problems section, and, and then go to chapter 6, which is multiple reaction, and you will find not only this problem, but a lot of problems, exercises, examples, etc. And it's time to change topic. Now we're going to see reactor selection. What's up guys? It's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.